What up, y'all? Little video update. Channel update. Just saying what's up. Uh, yeah, don't really have this written down or knew what the heck I was going to say. Just threw the camera on to say uh, video update. Saying, uh, you know, new content coming. Uh, general hanging out videos. We did some amp cleaning the other day. Pulled these bad boys out. Gave them a wipe down. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, they're going to need service. You can see the spray here. My foot pointer pointing to you. This red can is a electronics cleaner. So, we'd sprayed some stuff out. We wiped some stuff down. Uh, yeah, the custom 250 needs a three-prong cable, but we're not really worried about that too much. Cause I'm not really singing through the mic when I'm playing. The top head is a Grom's Precision 50s, uh, 100 watt tube amp. Beautiful, I love that thing. It it uh it needs something. It's got some sizzling going on after a little while, and the trainer has got some some noises going on. I'm pretty sure the trainer's just a tube. I think the Grom's might be a cap and tube being an issue but uh yeah i haven't checked those out but just saying you know i got some some amp videos some uh, more pedal videos some more guitar videos uh just giving you know just saying hi to everybody got 68 subscribers now actually that's pretty much to me so that's a lot like uh so yeah i mean we need to get to a thousand but, uh, you know, at least a thousand. And, uh, yeah, guys, just wanted to say what's up. You know, say a personal what's up. You know, welcome to my living room. Gonna be, uh, I think the next video I'm gonna do is, uh, running parallel, running effects parallel rather than in series. So I have a trainer PA amp six channel pa amp solid state that i love it's just like mixer style so we're gonna run yep six six uh fuzz boxes whatever distortions whichever we're gonna pick probably uh do the same combo i did last time i did this i did uh heart key fuzz um uh, Bass overdrive, OCD. Um, what else did I run? Everything that wasn't finicky, like uh, Fuzz Factory or my Fuzz Face. Those two are pretty finicky. So I had everything else. I think I had an Ibanez DS7 on there. I had uh, a Blues Driver. I had... The uh, Big Muff, Bass Big Muff Pie. And I think that was it. I may have had an SD1 at the time. Super Overdrive, but I don't have that at the moment. But either way, I'll be hooking up six drive pedals and showing you all how I blend it. I play through a 15-inch PV with that rig. Um, yeah, that head is uh, 100 watts. Obviously, XLR inputs and quarter-inch inputs. It's got reverb, which uh, the other day, I just got working after having this amp for about eight years. Uh, yeah, opened up the back, and here the reverb was unhooked. So I hooked that back up. It sounds pretty good, actually. I never had that. And, um, yeah. I'll show you how fun it is to blend parallel it stays so clear and you get so much definition out of each one because each pedal isn't being driven by the one before it. It's a, you know, solid, clean signal of that pedal, which is, I don't know, it's so sick. So I need to get a splitter, but I'll be doing an amazing amount of splitting. I guess I will use an AB box and then go out from... Uh, two pedals 
or three pedals with stereo uh, outs. So we're gonna be splitting using pedals and, uh, and a splitter pedal. So that'll be fun. That'll be a lot of wiring and a big old mess. I think I will use long cables because the last time I did that, I put everything right on top of the amp itself and so this time i think i will set it up a little bit cleaner on a board and just use long leads to the amp which is what i was avoiding last time so i used you know little 12 inch patch cables so now i'll use you know whatever i'll try to use the shortest ones i have um and yeah we will hook up six drive pedals Ooh. And then I'm going to do some delays and like the other effects too, because I've only ever done the drives. I've only ever mixed the drives. So we'll see what we can do with that amp, but running effects parallel. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the shit. So uh, we're going to do that on the trainer 6400 mixer amp. Um, that's just one of the videos to come. So trying to up these subscribers up y'all people up y'all up this content give y'all something more to watch um a little more of these personalized videos i don't know who anybody is except for you know like one or two of you three of you i do know you y'all personally and I, you know i thank everybody for being here so uh you know just give you a little meet and greet what's up you know new rundown Obviously, I post whatever I want on here, so I post, you know, you know, chainsaw carvings of, you know, from a place I've been or, you know, places I go, whatever. So, you know that you're always going to get some of that content of just what I'm out and about doing. Um, I'm just letting y'all know that, uh, you know, some new stuff is coming, putting a little more effort into things or whatever, uh, you know, trying and yeah, we got some, you know, we got a LTD Eclipse 256. You know, I know everybody loves the Relic. Everybody hates the Relic, I know that, but I, I, don't, I don't like it either, but I, uh, I don't mind it on this thing because it just makes me feel uh, broken in. And then we got the Squire 70s vibe. So we can do a little review on this bad boy. We can do a review on this bad boy, the Dan Electro Longhorn bass, the 90s Korean one. This bass right here, I'm never getting rid of. This is the best sounding bass I've ever played. Well, I'd have to take it up with a few others side by side, but this bass sounds wonderful. I can't ignore that. That bass sounds amazing. We can also do a little talk about the the K arch top with the Kent, the old school Kent pickup. Man, that thing is the bee's knees, man. That shit is the cat's pajamas. So we can do that. We can do all that. All them bad boys. You know we got. Oh, we can do a little review on the 74 uh, jazz bass we got in there. Yeah, y'all going to love that finish on that thing. So, yep, we got some of that. We got the Sears 40XL amp. The last one, I guess, made by the Dan Electro in the Dan Electro plant. So that's pretty cool. Very cool. So, yeah, just want to say what's up to y'all. Do another little format. Oh, wow. Oh, the sun. Anyway, we got the lock happening here. Something happened with the brightness. Anyway. So, brightness is all messed up here for the ending of the video. And uh, we'll end this video like that and say what's up. 
and we'll catch you all in the next one.